Hey, what's going on guys? Jay's Two Cents here, and I'm in a pretty unique position where I get to take a look at a lot of cool stuff that comes through this office here when it comes to reviews and computer PC parts and just cool tech gadgets. Now that obviously has a huge benefit, but at the same time, it has a little bit of a downside where it's not very often anymore where something comes in here and just wows me and makes me think, holy shit, this is just awesome. So that's why today I am pleased to bring you guys something that is extremely fun and exciting and it's about the size of these two fingers. God, keep it clean, you perverts. I'm talking about Vision Tech's new USB 3.0 SSD drive. God, what'd you think I was talking about? Gigabyte's Flex Display technology automatically detects and connects up to four displays for the best gaming experience in multi-display Ultra HD. Click the link in the description to find out more. Now obviously when the fellas over at Vision Tech asked me if I was interested in taking a look at their new USB 3.0 SSD, I was intrigued because Vision Tech is one of those companies that you pretty much expect video cards out of. In fact, they're not even really in the SSD game as a big player. I mean, sure, they sell SSDs, standard form factor 7mm and 2.5 inch drive SSDs, but there are not really any options on the market when it comes to thumb drive sized SSDs. I mean, I think there's one or two others and I couldn't even tell you much about them. So I was very intrigued to say the least. Now, before we start talking about any of the specs on this guy, let's go ahead and talk about the physical properties of this. Now it does have a keychain loop on here so you can carry this with you anywhere. Now I work in IT, so the idea of being able to carry this with me conveniently on my keychain if I wanted, uh, was actually very, very intriguing to me. I just wish it had a better cap solution than this rubber cap, which seems like it could easily be lost. I mean, it stays on there nice and tight. It doesn't fall off or anything. It's got really good friction, but it does seem like it would be easily losable. So if I had some sort of a snap lid that maybe had some sort of a tether on there, that would have been preferred in my opinion. So that was a little bit lacking, but the body of this thing is freaking rugged. In fact, I was tempted to go and run this thing over with my car just for the hell of it. Uh, but I, I, I didn't know if Vision Tech would really appreciate that. But I'm fairly convinced it could actually tolerate being ran over by my car. Now, when it comes to the aesthetics of the drive, um, I do think Vision Tech could work a little bit on their label. I mean, in fact, the label looks a little bit... I can't tell if it's supposed to be red or orange. It almost has a little bit of a faded look to it. And considering how fast and how cool, uh, well, awesome that this drive is, I do feel that it deserves a little bit better branding when it comes to the drive itself. Now it is a USB 3.0 super speed capable drive. It's a 120 gigabyte solid state drive. Now this is a true solid state. Remember we're talking the NAND, Sandforce controller, the whole bit. Basically they took everything that is in a standard size SSD, which I'm about to throw on the ground, a standard size SSD, which you normally run on a SATA 6 gigabit per second port and shrunk it down into this little guy. Now this, as you guys know, unless it's in some sort of an external enclosure, exclosure, that's a new word we're going to coin here today, unless it's in some sort of an external enclosure where it's getting power, uh, it's really absolutely a paperweight. It doesn't do you any good. Now when it comes to the speed of this drive, I just, I had it upside down. Bear with me there. I, I'm yeah, there we go, that way. When it comes to the speed of this drive, I didn't really know what to expect. In fact, they advertise well over 400 megabytes per second of read and write. Now, of course, it's gonna have some limitations when it comes to the USB 3.0 devices, motherboards, controllers, there's a lot of different variables in there. But basically, if it's an XHCI enabled motherboard and it's got a super speed USB 3.0 port, you could actually have a complete fully functioning SSD with you wherever you go. In fact, you could even install Windows on this thing and have a mobile operating system that you could plug into any computer, boot off of. It makes this also a very amazing tech support device. Now that's where this actually intrigued me, uh, working in uh, IT and tech and whatnot. So it, it, I could basically take my operating system, which I could load up with all of my troubleshooting, debugging and repair software, and repair anybody's computer from this if I wanted. So that's one of the many benefits you could actually use with a drive like this. Now let's go ahead and talk about speed, not the drug, guys, we're talking about the speed of the drive. That's what it is you guys, I'm sure, are interested in. So let's go ahead and talk about the speeds of this bad boy. Transition. 
All right, I guess that brings us to the next part of this video where we're gonna go ahead and talk about the speeds of the Vision Tech 120 gigabyte USB 3.0 solid state SCSI drive. That's, that's pretty much what it is. Even though the actual part number for this is a bunch of numbers that I don't even remember, and frankly, it's not even relevant because uh, this thing is pretty freaking badass. Now, initially I had some problems with speed on this, and having a lot of correspondence back and forth with Vision Tech and seeing other reviewers were getting fantastic speeds on this, I thought, what the heck is going on? Something is not right. And they even sent me another drive to make sure I didn't get a defective one. And it turns out that, the, of course, the problem was not the drive. I didn't suspect it was, but we wanted to rule it out. You need to make sure that XHCI is enabled on your motherboard. Now, by default, it should be. That's kind of been the standard since 2008. But some motherboards have a smart function and it doesn't necessarily mean the smart function is going to recognize this thing as a USB SCSI drive. It might just recognize it as a USB device, which means it's not going to actually activate the super speed protocol for high uh, transfer data rate when it comes to the, uh, the drive itself. So if you guys are running a motherboard, specifically MSI motherboards actually, we were finding that there were no onboard controllers on the motherboard to control XHCI. So as a little bit of a... There's a little bit of a issue there when it came to MSI. But anyway, this thing is now ironed out, running perfectly fast because we've got the XHCI enabled on the motherboard. And let's just say that the speeds were nothing short of making me want to giggle like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> when it comes to performance, this thing absolutely delivered. In fact, on the read speed, I was getting just under 500 megabytes per second. And on the write speed, I was getting about 450 megabytes per second. That is absolutely phenomenal, considering once again, it's going through USB 3.0. Now, USB 3.0 Super Sport, Super Sport, Super Speed, it's not, a, it's not a Chevy. Chevy has a Super Sport. Now, the data rate of USB 3.0 is actually fairly quick, and the drive is able to make full use of the bandwidth capable uh, to the USB 3.0 Super Speed protocol. So this thing is definitely not really getting slowed down once it's properly configured. Now, the reason why I included the other drives on here is I wanted to give you some reference of how this thing is performing when it comes to other solid state SSDs, hard drive, as well as just a regular USB flash drive. Now, the USB flash drive was a joke, obviously. I mean, they're so slow. Flash is not the fastest of memory, and then, or storage uh, chips, whatever. But I've got to tell you that this thing has a ton of value. In fact, you could load up Windows and boot from it and take your Windows OS installation with you wherever you go. Now, if you work in IT or you're just super handy with computers and you're always helping people fix their stuff, if you've ever had someone say, oh my God, I think I've got a virus, can you help me? Getting into an OS that's infected and trying to fix it from within the affected OS is not always the easiest. Now you can actually load you know, operating systems on external drives, that's nothing new, but loading it on an SSD like this that is giving you super fast uh, read-write speeds through a USB port, this is actually a really amazing mobile medic OS, if you ask me. In fact, that's how I'm planning on using it. I'm gonna be using this drive to be able to clean infected computers by booting to a clean OS, accessing the infected drives and scanning and cleaning it all out without ever booting the OS or loading any of those programs into processes. So it's gonna be a lot easier to clean machines without having to do it from within the infected OS. And having SSD speeds to do that they're going to be absolutely amazing. Now, this thing comes in at about 100 bucks. Um, it's right in line with about the price of a regular SSD, giving you the same type of performance. But you don't actually have to worry about having an external enclosure or power or any of that stuff with you. It's just plug it in and go. So Vision Tech has really delivered with the, this USB 3.0 SCSI drive. I'm extremely happy with it. Follow on Twitter or Facebook if you have any questions, Instagram or any of that stuff. We do have our Tech Talk show on Thursdays with uh, Jay's Two Cents and Barnacles. It's a whole lot of fun. We just talk tech, kind of shoot the shit and have a whole lot of fun. And as always, we hope that you guys would come and watch that show on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Pacific if you like. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and check me out in the next Jay's Two Cents video. And as always, see you in the next one.